We've discussed how a coming solar grand minimum may lead to global cooling via a number of solar and cosmic ray forcing mechanisms. From professors, ex-IPCC scientists, and even former members of Greenpeace, we recently learned that the rainforest is much younger than most people realize. It wasn't there just a few thousand years ago. Earth changes on different time scales than we realize. Now well, here's the bad news for the evening. We knew that the magnetic field of Earth has been weakening, and we recently discussed potential consequences of a continued shift in a video called Super Flood. But the rate of failure is confirmed now to be much worse than any of us have imagined. We discussed the corresponding polar reversal of the planet, and we now have confirmation from the mission manager of Swarm that the reversal is likely a primary cause of the magnetic weakening. One thing the observations cannot agree with, however, is their time scales. At this rate of change, the reversal would happen multiple times in a thousand years, and that's just not reality. What is reality is that maybe it was stable for hundreds or thousands of years, but now that the shift has begun, it's going to happen rapidly. Just look at these jumps. Do the math in your head. At this rate, we don't have hundreds of years left before Earth's magnetic reversal, and this will greatly enhance the cosmic ray influx the energy that makes it down to the troposphere and enhances the cloud cover to reflect more sunlight, cooling the planet. The solar energy is weakening as well, and our climate change playlist, linked below, is a pretty strong case for the other kind of climate change. Maybe, just maybe, this planet changes on much shorter time scales than we've realized, or at least what the experts are willing to admit. 10% weakening in 150 years, another 5% in just 10 years. And now, it's fading 10 times faster. You do the math.